Hi, this is Greg Kilstrom. Welcome to season three of the Agile World, where we discuss customer and employee experience, organizational and workforce transformation, and how business can adapt and continually improve in an Agile age. The Agile World podcast is brought to you by Tech Systems, an industry leader in full stack technology services, talent services, and real world application. For more information, go to techsystems.com. To read more about the topics discussed in this show, you can go to my website at theagile.world and read my latest articles or get a copy of my latest book, The Agile Workforce, now available on Amazon and other retailers. My name is Greg Kilstrom, and I'm the host of the Agile World podcast. Welcome to a special episode of the show brought to you by Attribution, an advanced multi-touch attribution company that empowers every marketer with the data to convert more buyers and maximize ROI. You can learn more about Attribution at www.attributionapp.com. Today, we're going to talk about the role of data science in multi-touch marketing attribution and the power of marketers and data scientists working together to achieve greater success. To help me discuss this topic, I'd like to welcome Cameron Horton and David Hiltner of Attribution. Welcome to the show. Uh, Why don't you uh, briefly each uh, introduce yourselves and your roles at Attribution? Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, So my name is Cameron Horton. Uh, I've been in product management for a little over five years now. I've worked with a variety of different organizations and different verticals with data and data analytics. Uh, Here at Attribution, I'm a product manager, hoping to identify some new areas of improvements and features for Attribution, which ultimately can help marketers achieve a better return on investment for their marketing campaigns. Hey there. Uh, Yeah, David Hiltner here. I'm the CEO at Attribution and have the pleasure of working alongside Cameron. Uh, You know, I have over uh, two decades of uh, digital marketing experience, and prior to being the CEO at Attribution, I was also uh, a user of Attribution, the the platform, um, at a variety of different locations and organizations, and uh, found uh, extreme value in uh, producing a strong uh, return on investment uh, when, uh, you know, looking at uh, different ad uh, platforms, uh, whether different contact mix, mixes and just understanding exactly what that, uh, that customer journey looks like. And so, um, happy to be here, Greg, uh, again, this is, I think my second, uh, podcast with y'all. And so super excited to, uh, to, uh, talk about, uh, the, the world of data science and, um, and those different priorities. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to talking with uh, with both of you about this topic. So in the last episode where I interviewed David, um, we talked a little more generally about multi-touch marketing attribution. In this episode, I wanted to dive a little deeper and talk about the important role that data science can play in helping marketers be more effective in their work. Uh, so, uh, you know, first question, why don't uh, marketers and data science scientists work together more often than they do? And what are some of the missed opportunities that are there when that doesn't happen? Yeah, so great question. So when talking with these different companies and seeing how their marketing and data science teams work, they appear to be very siloed. So they don't communicate as much. They have competing priorities and goals. And really the downside of this is a missed opportunity of insights. So currently with a lot of organizations with their marketing mixes, it's treated a little bit like a black box. You throw ad money in and revenue, conversion, visits come out. But with not having those insights, it's very difficult to tune and improve your return on investment since you're not sure what's working and what's not. So I'd say that would be the missed opportunity where marketers and data scientists aren't working together. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would agree with that, Cam. And I, I think that... Um you know, that the other part of it is like, as, as companies are investing more into data science, um, overall, uh, the different departments, I think that it just innately, as you, as you said, they become somewhat siloed, but you know, if you have a really great organization that's working, uh, hands-on, a lot of times the uh, data science teams are working not only with product, but also with marketing. And so like you can get a full sense of the, uh, entire customer journey through, even through the product itself. And, really be able to, to develop out those insights and then model out those, uh, um, those different, uh, you know, almost like Sankey chart type of like, uh, paths or growth paths. Um, it, it really helps you, um, as an organization to really kind of develop out, uh, those, those opportunities and try to, again, model those as much as possible. So I think that that's, uh, that's one of the areas that I think that, you know, obviously, 
they're starting new um, in a lot of ways, like a lot of companies are investing in this. So I don't think like, um, I don't think that they've really kind of thought through that process sometimes. And so as they start to develop out, and if you're doing it really well, like I said, I think that the it just becomes a natural partnership between both uh, the data science and marketing if it's done correctly. What are some of the challenges or questions that marketers might have that data science teams can assist with? So I think some of the challenges or questions that marketers or what data science teams can help with marketers is really helping with that black box. So really seeing like, okay, looking at the data, seeing how certain channels are performing at perhaps the beginning of a channel or beginning of the funnel at that awareness stage, a little bit further down at that conversion. Right now, since it's a bit more of a black box, it's difficult to see how these different campaigns and channels are really impacting you know, conversions or visits in these various stages of that uh, funnel. And also just taking a look at even retargeting platforms, which are quite challenging to measure and understand. You know, that data science team can uncover a lot of those insights, which can help you increase the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns. Um, so let's talk about your product attribution um, and how it helps marketers and data science teams that work with them to get better insights. Um, although the product itself you know, it provides easy to view reporting for non-data scientists to get great, great insights, you've recently added some features that um, enable those data scientists to provide additional insights and apply their expertise to marketing data sets. Can you uh, go, go into a little detail and, and describe this? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, recently we launched our new product, the data export tool. So uh, what this tool does is it combines all the marketing data that we get from the different ad platforms through our first party cookie integrations. We group them together, and then we provide them to these data science teams in the cloud storage provider of their choice. The reason this is so great is that, you know, working with these data science teams and these different projects, about 80% of the time is spent on collecting data, cleaning it, scrubbing it. You know, it's quite a challenge trying to get the data that you need. So what we do is that instead of having those data science teams waste time looking for this data, trying to collect it, it may be being inaccurate or out of date, we provide that to the data science teams so they can focus on providing those analytics and insights to their marketing teams. Yeah, I think Cam just hit straight on it. It's Again, it's uh, it's really just being able to give the data science teams a, an opportunity to model out the uh, the different paths to uh, to conversion, and it allows you to be a lot smarter about your your spend and um, and then try to replicate that as many times over so that you can have a, a pretty successful growth pattern um, or strategy um, moving forward. So it's uh, it's a it's a that's one of the best things about the tool, and we find that both uh, data science and marketing uh, love being able to kind of go in and be able to uh, you know build out their own different customized models as they're as they're trying to learn more about. Uh, that that audience um, through the throughout the funnel process, as Cam um, mentioned earlier. So, yeah. yeah, to kind of, to kind of build on that, um, you know, how does this um, this data export tool make things easier than maybe some other tools that data scientists might already be using? How, you know, how does it make it a more straightforward process? Yeah, so the way that it makes it a bit more straightforward is that we collect all your data from your different ad platforms. So we get that campaign level data, but we also tie it to the user. Right now, a lot of data science teams have about three different methods of collecting data that they need. So one, you can access third-party cookie data, but if you work in the marketing space, you know that these types of cookies are slowly getting phased out. So you're losing access to a lot of this different data where attribution is a first party cookie. So we connect directly to the ad platform. So we're able to still collect all that data. The second method is that they often create fake data or data that looks similar. But the biggest challenge here is that this could be inaccurate. It's actually fairly hard to make realistic data for data science teams because it's not perfect. You know, Real data has more complexities than would be possible to add into a fake data set. And finally, the third way is either they crawl the web or they set up these new integrations. However, that takes 
a lot of time. For us, it's taken years to build out all our different integrations. So for a lot of these data science teams that are trying to get answers and insights for their marketing, they don't have months to set up these new integrations and go through this web crawling process. So really what we can do is collect all this data that would either be incomplete, inaccurate, or would take too long to build. We just bundle it up, put it into your cloud storage provider, either automatically, like through, let's say, a monthly dump, or we could do it when you need it. So really just that speed of getting data that you need is just unparalleled compared to the other three methods that they're using. So what's a, what's a good use case where data science and marketing teams can work together to get better results? Yeah, so I'd say the list of possible use cases could be endless. You know, really any marketing question you need or really depending on what campaigns you want will drive what use cases you'll need. You know, we've seen them where if let's say you're really driving for more visitors, you're trying to do that top of funnel awareness, what this data, um, sorry, this data that we can provide to data scientists can help you see, all right, how are my campaigns working for this awareness versus maybe conversion that's further down the funnel. We've also seen it where they want to understand the customer journey better. So how are they interacting with our channels and what combination seems to make the most sense? And we've seen it where it's been a bit more user segmented, so behavioral, where it's like which visitors uh, spend the most over time, how much did it cost us to get them, or which type of users generate the most uh, MRR after accounting for the advertising budget. But really, I th the use cases are very are dependent very much on the campaign that the marketing department is running, which is great. So the fact that we give you this level of data, not just campaign level, but user, really gives you the ability to get granular with what use cases you need answered. Great. Well, uh, one last question before we wrap up here. Um, you know, with this ability to get better insights through a combination of both marketing teams as well as to data science teams, what's your advice for uh, to teams to to get started with uh, with multi-touch attribution? Uh, what can they do together as a first step to ensure success? Yeah. So for that first step, I really say that there's two main elements that I think need to be nailed down before proceeding. So if you're working with your data science team, let's say as a marketing operations specialist, digital marketer, or you know, a VP of marketing, is having those really clear expectations and requirements for your data science team. So uh, explaining what you need and why. That why will be a huge factor for your data science team, because if they can understand the reasoning behind those requirements, they can dig even deeper without needing to come back to you to see if it's enough. They can understand, okay, we need more visitors because you know, our top of the funnel is maybe a little dry. They can start to dig in further and further, see what's happening, why the campaigns maybe aren't converting as well as you thought. And the second element is just getting the data that they need. So having those data sets and that proper data for the data science team to ultimately run their analytics will set you up for success without it they won't be able to uncover the insights you need or they'll uncover the wrong insights, which I think is the worst scenario. So yeah. really those two pillars, you know, having clear expectations and then having the data sets they need. Yeah. And just to kind of piggyback off that, I think that there's a love, there's a, there's a level of like what, what Cam said, where they're, where they're getting all the, these great, um, this great data uh, through the, through the uh, funnel process. Um, and then once they go through and, and depending on your, the type of product that you, you have, but if they're going through the product, it's, a, if it's more of like a SaaS or more of an e-com uh, platform, uh, having that understanding at the top, uh, also allows you to understand like what's going on through the product itself. And so they, they can tie together, um, a really nice, uh, you know, understanding of how the customer comes in and how they're using the product itself. So, I think if there's that level of understanding between both, uh, you know, both departments and because um, that understanding also can lead up up the chain a little bit, too. So as you know, as people are using the product, you'll get insights um, into, uh, you know, what like level of documentation you need to provide other um, educational pieces that maybe you have to build out 
uh, what type of campaigns from an from an educational standpoint through the you know the awareness stage or uh, through the consideration or the buying stages, like it gives you sort of that that blueprint throughout the entire journey, and um, and then it allows you then once you're experimenting and and you know having uh, you know using different marketing mixes to really kind of understand what's going on through that 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 top of funnel journey um, allows you to be a little bit smarter in how you're how you're kind of building out those uh, those um, those different campaigns um, and content uh, mixes as well. So. Um, so I think that that's the nice thing about this, this, this process and this product is it allows you to like kind of understand and, and just be able to double down where things are working and, and just be smarter about how you're spending your, your, t- your resources and your, um, and your dollars. Well, thanks to you both for joining the show. Uh, for those listening, what's the best way for them to keep up with what attribution is doing? Uh, yes, yeah, so the best way to keep up to date with what attribution is working is to join our newsletter where we send out uh, email blasts about new updates, new features, and also just to check out our website uh, at www.attributionapp.com. It can show you all the new enhancements that we're working on and any new products that are coming up. Again, I'd like to thank David Hiltner and Cameron Horton from Attribution for joining the show. Thanks for listening to The Agile World with Greg Kilstrom in this special episode of the show brought to you by Attribution, an advanced multi-touch attribution company that empowers every marketer with the data to convert more buyers and maximize ROI. You can learn more about Attribution at www.attributionapp.com. See you next week. Thanks again for listening to The Agile World podcast brought to you by Tech Systems. I'm your host, Greg Kilstrom. If you enjoyed the show, please take a minute to subscribe on your podcast channel of choice and leave us a rating so that others can find the show more easily. You can learn more and get a copy of my latest book, The Agile Workforce, from my website at theagile.world.